Welcome back to Bible Quizzes. We got another quiz for you about Jesus today. Let's get started. One, where was Jesus born? Nazareth, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, or Capernaum? Bethlehem, Matthew 2, 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. 2. Who baptized Jesus? Peter, John, Paul, or James? John, Matthew 3, 13 to 14. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John, but John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? 3. How many disciples did Jesus have? 10, 11, 12, or 13. Matthew 10, 1, Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave him them the authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. 4. What was Jesus' first miracle? Healing a blind man, walking on water, turning water into wine, or raising Lazarus from the dead? Turning water into wine. John 2, 1 through 11, Jesus changes water into wine. Five. What did Jesus feed 5,000 people with? Bread and wine, fish and wine, fish and milk, or loaves and fishes? Loaves and fishes. Matthew 14, 19. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven. He gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. 6. Who was the mother of Jesus? Elizabeth, Martha, Mary Magdalene, or Mary? Mary. Luke 1, 26-31. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. 7. Who betrayed Jesus? Peter, Judas Iscariot, Thomas, or Matthew? Judas Iscariot, Matthew 26, 14, 15. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. 8. Where was Jesus crucified? Mount of Olives, Mount Sinai, Golgotha, or Gethsemane? Gethsemane, Matthew 27, 33. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. 9. Who denied Jesus three times? Peter, Judas, John, or Andrew? Peter, Matthew 26, 75. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken. Before the rooster crows, you'll disown me three times, and he went outside and wept bitterly. 10. What did Jesus say about paying taxes? Don't pay taxes, pay taxes only to the temple, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and a God what is God's, or pay taxes only if you agree with the government. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's and a God what is God's. Matthew 22, 21. Caesar's, they replied. Then he said to them, So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and a God what is God's. 11. Who was the Roman governor who sentenced Jesus to be crucified? Herod, Caesar, Festus, or Pilate? Pilate. 
Matthew 27, 24 to 26, when Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead of an uproar was darting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, his blood is on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. 12. What was Jesus doing when he was found in the temple at age 12? Listening and asking questions, teaching, praying, or reading the scriptures? Listening and asking questions. Luke 2, 46-47, after three days they found him in the temple court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. 13. What did Jesus say were the two greatest commandments? Love your neighbor and honor your parents. Keep the Sabbath holy and honor your parents. Love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. Or do not kill and do not steal. Love your na the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 to 40, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. 14. Who was the first person to see Jesus after his resurrection? Mary Magdalene, Thomas, Peter, or John? Mary Magdalene, John 20, 14, 16, he asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it you're looking for? Thinking he was a gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabbani, which means teacher. 15. Which of the following was not a parable told by Jesus? Good Samaritan, prodigal son, the sower, or burning bush? Burning bush, Luke 10, 25, 37, the parable of the Good Samaritan, Luke 15, 11, 32, the parable of prodigal son, Matthew 13, 1 through 23, parable of the sower. 16. How did Jesus enter Jerusalem before his crucifixion? Horse, foot, donkey, or chariot? Donkey, Matthew 21, 1 through 2. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with their colt by her, untie them and bring them to me. 17. Who helped Jesus carry the cross? Simon Peter, John, Simon of Cyrene, or Joseph of Arimathea? Simon of Cyrene, Matthew 27, 32. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. 17. Which disciple doubted Jesus' resurrection until he saw him? Thomas, John 20, 24, 25. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord, but he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand to his side, I'll not believe. 19. What title did Jesus often use for himself? Son of man, son of God, son of David, or Messiah? Son of Man, Matthew 8.20, Jesus replied, Foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. 20. Which gospel is not part of the Synoptic Gospels? Matthew, Mark, Seth, or John? John. 
John. The Synoptic Gospels refer to the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke because they include many of the same stories, often in a similar sequence and wording. The Gospel of John is not considered part of the Synoptic Gospels because its content and structure are distinct. 21. In the parable of the, so parable of the sower, they, the seed represents money. False. Matthew 13, 19. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. 22. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, who helped the injured man? Priest, Levite, Samaritan, or Pharisee? Samaritan. Luke 10, 33-34. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bent bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. 23. What was the main message of the parable of the prodigal son? Importance of hard work, joy of repentance and forgiveness, value of money, or importance of obedience? Joy of Repentance and Forgiveness Luke 15, 11, 32, The Parable of the Lost Son 24. In the parable of the lost sheep, how many sheep did the shepherd leave to find the one that was lost? 10, 50, 100, or 99? Luke 15 4 suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them doesn't he leave the 99 in the open and country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it 25 in the parable of the talents what did the master do when the servant who hid his talent in the ground praised him gave him more talents cast him into outer darkness or cast him into outer darkness Cast him into outer darkness. Matthew 25, 28, 30. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. For whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be the weeping and gnashing of teeth. 26. In the parable of the mustard seed, what does the mustard seed represent? Faith, heaven, kingdom of God, or wealth? 31 32 he told them another parable the kingdom of God the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in this field though it is the smallest of all seeds yet when it grows it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches 27 in the parable of the ten virgins what did the wise virgin take with their lamps extra oil water bread or coins Extra oil. Matthew 25, 4. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. 28. In the parable of the unforgiving servant, what was the main lesson? Be diligent, be forgiving, save money, or be honest. Forgiving. Matthew 18.35 This is how my Heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. 29. In the parable of the rich fool, what did the rich man decide to do with his surplus crops? build bigger barns to store them. Luke 12, 18. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store my surplus grain. 30. In the parable of the wedding feast, who ended up attending the feast? Original invitees, king's family, anyone the servants found in the streets, or king's friends?
any one of the servants found in the streets. Matthew 22.10 So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, the bad as well as the good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. 31. In the parable of the workers in the vineyard, what did the landowner pay each worker? Same wage regardless of hours worked? More to those who worked longer? Different amounts based on their work hours? Or less to those who worked less? Same wage regardless of hours worked. Matthew 20, 9 through 10. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more, but each one of them also received a denarius. 32. In the parable of the two sons, what did the first son say and do? He would not work but did, he would not work and did not, he would work and did, or he would work but did not. 21-28-29 What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. 33. What did Jesus do when he saw the temple being used as a marketplace? Blessed the merchants, ignored them, overturned the tables and drove them out, or joined in the buying and selling. 21 the tables and drove them out. Matthew 21 12. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. 34. How did Jesus respond when tempted by the devil in the wilderness? Prayed continuously, quoted scripture, ignored the devil, or performed miracles? 4.10-11 Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended to him. 35. What did Jesus say to calm the storm while on the boat with his disciples? Be quiet, calm down, peace be still, or do not fear. 439 he got up rebuked the wind and said to the waves quiet be still then the wind died down and it was completely calm 36 in the parable of the sheep and the goats who are the sheep righteous wealthy wicked or poor Righteous. Matthew 25, 32 33. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He'll put the sheep on his right and goats on his left. 37. Who climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus? Zacchaeus, Simon the Zealot, Nicodemus, or Bartimaeus? Luke 19.4 So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. 38. What did Jesus do for Lazarus? Healed him from blindness, cured his leprosy, forgave his sins, or raised him from the dead? 11:43-44. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, Take off the grave clothes and let him go. 39. In the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, who was justified before God? Pharisee, tax collector, both or neither. Tax collector. Luke 18 14. I tell you that this man rather than the other went home justified before God, for all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. 40. 
What did Jesus say about the law and the prophets? Came to abolish them? Came to fulfill them? They are no longer relevant or only the law is important? He came to fulfill them. Matthew 5.17 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. 41. The significance of Jesus cursing the fig tree is that it symbolizes the fruitlessness of Israel. True. Mark 11, 13, 14. Seeing in the distance a fig tree and leaf, he went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. Then he said to the tree, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. 42. In which gospel does Jesus say, I am the way and the truth and the life? Matthew, John, Mark, or Luke? John, John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. 43, how many times did Jesus predict his death and resurrection? Once, thrice, twice, or four times? Christ. Mark 8, 31, 9, 31, 10, 33, 34. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed after three days rise again. 44. What was the reaction of Jesus' disciples when he walked on water? They thought he was a ghost, immediately recognized him, they were unafraid, or they jumped into the water. They thought he was a ghost. Matthew 14, 26, when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. 45, what's the shortest verse in the Bible and where is it found? Jesus wept, John eleven thirty five. 46. What was the first disciple to call Jesus the Son of God? Peter, Andrew, John, or Nathaniel? Nathaniel, John 1 49. Then Nathaniel declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. 47. Which Old Testament prophet did Jesus frequently reference as a sign of his own death and resurrection? Isaiah, Elijah, Jonah, or Jeremiah? Jonah, Matthew 12, 39 40. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. 48. In the Garden of Gethsemane, how many times did Jesus pray for the cup to pass from him? Once, three times, twice, or four times? Three times. Matthew 26, 43-44. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy, so he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. 49. What was the name of the high priest's servant whose ear Peter cut off? Malchus, Ananias, Caiaphas, or Marcus? Malchus, John 18.10, then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant. Cutting off his right ear, the servant's name was Malchus. 50. Mary Magdalene said, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. False. Mark 9, 24. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. 
51. Which disciple asked Jesus, Lord, show us the Father, Peter, Philip, Thomas, or Andrew? Philip, John 14, 8. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father, that, and that will be enough for us. 52. What did Jesus say the bread represents during the Last Supper? Is love, teachings, body, or spirit? His body. Matthew 26, 26. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. 53. Where did Jesus' transfiguration take place? Mount Sinai, unnamed, Mount of Olives, or Mount Tabor? Unnamed. Matthew 17, 1 through 2. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. 54. Which gospel contains the Sermon on the Mount? Matthew, Matthew 5 through 7, Introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. 55. Who did Jesus say was the greatest among those born of women? Moses, John the Baptist, Elijah, or David? John the Baptist, Matthew 11, 11, Truly I tell you, among those born of women, there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet whoever is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. 56. What did Jesus say would happen if his disciples kept silent during his triumphal entry? Stones would cry out, earth would quake, heavens would open, or mountains would move. Stones would cry out. Luke 19:40. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. 57. Who asked Jesus what is truth? Caiaphas, Herod, Pilate, or Peter? Pilate, John 18.38, What is truth? retorted Pilate. With this he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him. 58. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? Simeon, Anna, Zacharias, or Elizabeth? Simeon, Luke 2, 28-29, Simeon took him in the arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. 59, which gospel begins with the genealogy of Jesus, Matthew, Luke, Mark, or John? Matthew, Matthew, Matthew... Matthew 1, 1 through 17, the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah. 60, in the Gospel of Luke, who visited Mary to announce the birth of Jesus? Michael, Uriel, Raphael, or Gabriel? Gabriel, Luke 1, 26 27, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David, the virgin's name was Mary. 61, in the Gospel of John, which of these I am statements does, not, does Jesus not make? I'm the bread of life, I'm the true vine, I'm the light of the world, or I'm the cornerstone. I am the cornerstone. John 6, 35, 8, 12, 15, 1. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. 
62. Who was the ruler of the synagogue that asked Jesus to heal his daughter? Nicodemus, Gamaliel, Jairus, or Ananias? Jairus, Mark 5, 22, 23, then one of the synagogue leaders named Jairus came and when he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet. He pleaded earnestly with them, my little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. 63, how many people were crucified with Jesus? Two, four, three, or five. Two, Matthew 27, 38, two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. 64, what's the name of the prayer Jesus taught his disciples? Hail Mary, Lord's Prayer, Apostles' Creed, or Nicene Creed? Lord's Prayer, Matthew 6, 9 through 13, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 65. Which woman anointed Jesus' feet with perfume and wiped them with her hair? Mary, sister of Martha, Mary Magdalene, Samaritan woman, or Syrophoenician woman? 66. Mary, sister of Martha. John 12, 3. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard and expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. 66. What sign did Jesus say would be given to the wicked and adulterous generation? Sign of Elijah, sign of Jonah, sign of Moses, or sign of David? 66. Sign of Jonah. Matthew 12, 39-40. He answered, A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. 67. Which Old Testament figure appeared with Jesus at the Transfiguration? Abraham and David, Isaiah and Jeremiah, Moses and Elijah, or Daniel and Ezekiel? 67. Moses and Elijah, Matthew 17, 3. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. 68. What did Jesus do immediately after his baptism? Began his ministry, returned to Nazareth, went to the wilderness to be tempted, preached in the synagogue. 68. Went into the wilderness to be tempted. Matthew 4, 1. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. 69. What did Jesus do to the money changers in the temple? Praised them, drove them out and overturned their tables, ignored them, or asked them to leave? 69. Drove them out and overturned their tables. Matthew 21, 12-13. Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, My house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. 70. In which town did Jesus perform his first miracle? Nazareth, Capernaum, Bethlehem, or Cana? 1 John 2, 1 through 3. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, They have no more wine. 71. How long was Jesus in the tomb before he rose from the dead? One day, three days, two days, or four days? 3 days, Matthew 12:40. For as Jonah was 3 days and 3 nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be 3 days and 3 nights in the heart of the earth. 
72, what miracle did Jesus perform for Bartimaeus? Healed his blindness, cured leprosy, raised him from the dead, or cast out demons? Healed his blindness. Mark 10, 51 and 52. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus. Your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. 73. What does Jesus say will happen to those who exalt themselves? They'll be praised, they'll be humbled, they'll be lifted up, or they'll be honored. They'll be humbled. Matthew 23, 12. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. 74. Which group of people did Jesus say were whitewashed tombs? Pharisees, Sadducees, Romans, or disciples? Pharisees. Matthew 23, 27. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of the bones of the dead and everything unclean. 75. In the parable of the tenants, who does the landowner represent? Disciples, Jesus, God, or Pharisees? God. Matthew 21, 33-34. Listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard. He put a wall around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyard to some farmers and moved to another place. When the harvest time approached, he sent his servants to the tenants to collect his fruit. 76. Who acknowledged Jesus as the Son of God at the crucifixion? Peter, Roman centurion, John, or a Pharisee? Roman centurion, Matthew 27, 54. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. 77. What was the inscription about Jesus' cross? King of the Jews, Son of God, Savior of the world, or Prophet of Nazareth? King of the Jews, Matthew 27, 37. Above his head they placed the written charge against him, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. 78. In the Gospel of John, what did Jesus promise to send after his ascension? Holy Spirit, sign, angels, or prophets? Holy Spirit, John 14, 26, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. 79, which parable teaches about the importance of building one's life on a strong foundation? Parable of the sower, parable of the wise and foolish builders, parable of the good Samaritan, or parable of the prodigal son? Parable of the wise and foolish builders, Matthew 7, 24-25, Therefore, everyone who hears the words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, streams rose, winds blew, and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. 80. Who was released instead of Jesus by Pilate? Judas, Stephen, Barabbas, or Simon Peter? Barabbas. Matthew 27, 21. Which of the two do you want me to release to you? Asked the governor. Barabbas, they answered. And that's all our questions today. Remember, put your score down below to let us know how you did and then share this with your friends and family so you can compare your scores against theirs. Then we'll see you guys in the next one.